Tegucigalpa, the capital of Honduras, the new center of a global shift in geopolitics. Honduras established formal diplomatic ties with Beijing in March and just this week China inaugurated its new embassy here in the capital. Now this Central American nation is looking towards closer cross-Pacific ties. The inauguration ceremony saw officials from both nations celebrate in what economists here are calling a key moment for future progress. 21st century must be a period of unity for humanity and the immense majority of Hondurans supports this decision of opening our relations up with China because it also opens up our hopes for better future. Honduras is also getting an embassy in Beijing, appointing renowned medical science researcher Salvador Enrique Moncada as the country's first ambassador to China. As a former Honduran ambassador himself, Efrain Diaz says the ambassadorial nomination can greatly deepen the country's relationship. It was a very wise appointment, given the long scientific career Dr Moncada has had and the opening of the embassy is a very clear sign that our diplomatic relations are moving in the right direction for both nations' interests in different areas, political, economic, cooperation and investment. However, as a country struggling with high rates of poverty and external migration, this Central American country hopes to learn from its new cross-Pacific partner. How can our country's developing economy leap to being stronger when it comes to manufacture. China's contribution can be very important here because of its own experience in the transformation it has undergone over the past 25 years. As Honduras embarks on a new era of relations with China, this country says it hopes to learn and benefit from its deepening ties to Asia. Alastair Barostock, CGTN, Tegucigalpa, Honduras.